welcome to DIY Homeschool. Today, we're going to talk about number bonds. What is number bonds? Number bonds is a mental picture that shows the relationship of the whole number and the parts that combine to make it. For example, I have here the number 5. So what are the two numbers or what are the parts that when you put together will make 5? Later, we'll find out. So basically, number months is the most foundational tool in Singapore math that has an excellent purpose as you introduce addition and subtraction. So this is how a number bond looks like. A number, a number bond is made up of several components. First, the whole or the whole number which is composed of at least two parts. The premise is when you put the two parts together, you'll be able to come up with the whole number. Okay, now I have here red and white counters. I want you to count all the counters. I found the pink. How many counters are there? Four. Very good. Okay, so there are four counters. Now, Kate, can you please sit up straight? I will sit or stand up straight, right? Now, I want you to think of two numbers that make Red counters and white counters. How many red counters are there? How many white counters are there? Two. Very good. So two and two, when you put it together, make again. Again, come here. No count it again. One. Very good. How many? Four. Okay, so two and two, when you put them together, makes Good job. So, what are the two numbers that make four? Two. And? Two. Good job. Very good. Now, I have here four counters again. Now, you count, you count the counters. What are the two numbers that make four? How many red counters are there? And how many white? Good job. So, three... Oh, okay, hold it. You can't hold it long. <laughs> okay, Kate, what are the... Because my fingers are getting ouch. Okay, Kate, what are the two numbers that make four? Good job! Can you say that again? Three. Three. And? One. Makes. Good job. Alright, now I have here blue and red counters. Okay, I want you to count all the counters. One, two, Start your day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good, seven. Now I want you to think of two numbers that make seven. Very good. There are three blues and four reds. So what are the two numbers that make seven? Three, three and? Three and four. Very good. So and? Three. Four makes seven. seven. Three and four makes seven. Good job. Okay, next. How about here? You count them again. Very good. Seven counters. Now, I want you to think of Katniss. Think of two numbers that make seven. Katniss. How many blue counters are there? Two. Okay. Two and? Uh, how many red counters? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. So, what are the two numbers that make seven? Two and what's the other one? Five. Good job. Okay. So two and five put together makes seven. Very good. Last. Last one. Here. 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 Okay. Here. One, two, 
many counters in all? Seven. Seven. Now think of two numbers that make seven. Okay. One. And? And one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. What are the two numbers that make seven? One. One and? Six. Put together. Makes seven. Good job. So one and? So now we're going to answer our worksheet about number ones, okay? Yes. All right. Here. Katniss, how many balls are there in all? Three. Very good. What are the two numbers that make three? Two. Two and? One. Very good. Oh, you're right. One here. Very good. Next. How many pencils are there in all? Four. What are the two numbers that make four? Two. Two and? Two. Good job. Oh, you're right, two. Next, Katniss, how many apples are there in all? Four. What you think of two numbers that make four? One. One and? Three. Good job. And how many ducks are there? Five. Two numbers that make five. Three. And? Two. Good. Okay. How many bears are there in all? Five. Think of two numbers that make five. Good job. Thank you, 